Hey, what is up guys? So I got a pretty interesting FTK or OTK deck to share with you guys today. It is going to be a OCG deck. However, uh, you won't actually need some of those OCG cards to pull it off, meaning that you don't really need the Heavy Storm or something like that to pull it off. But nonetheless, pretty interesting deck and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So it is a, a nimble OTK that doesn't actually use the Deep Sea Coal Camp card, which is a card that's pretty easy to actually pull off a lot of uh, OTKs in that uh, type of deck. But Heavy Storm goes off, but it doesn't really matter. But let me go ahead and briefly explain actually what is actually going on. So, uh, quick draw synchron, uh, you can send one monster from your hand to the river to special summon this card. So, that allows you to uh, discard Nimble Angler. This is the card that you want to abuse in the deck. So, uh, once you uh, discard Nimble Angler, uh, you get to special summon uh, up to two level three or lower Nimble monsters from your deck except for Nimble Angler. Uh, unfortunately, this card will not get its effect as XYZ material. Otherwise, there would be a lot more easy OTKs uh, in some type of Nimble deck. But, nonetheless, uh, he goes ahead and activates Foolish Burial. I know Foolish is technically at one, but trust me, there are a lot of ways to discard cards in his build so we'll get into that build a little bit later on but it's a pretty simple concept he's just gonna go for double degusto phoenix and this card allows uh, for a lot of different shenanigan otks because it basically has 3,000 attack if you have a stardust on board a stardust basically deals 5,000 points of damage so uh, he's able to get rid of one monster and i would say that this is kind of relevant in the game that we have right now there are a ton of decks right now in Yu Gi Oh that revolve around one monsters uh for example something like bujins uh they don't always have turtle in the graveyard and they will always have the crane in their hand but if you're able to uh you know get this out against bujins and you know bounce it back successfully you can still beat bujins relatively quick because that is a deck that they usually only have one monster on board sometimes uh against like fire fist they go for like a first turn dragon and if they don't happen to add the uh, tenkin then you can actually just go for game maybe they go for the ten sin instead ten sin is the one that boosts their attack up uh, i mean technically everything boosts their attack up but uh tenkin is the one where it's unaffected by other cards so if they don't add that one then yeah you can still tactically otk or ftk against that deck as well so he's just gonna go ahead and go in uh for game right here he's just gonna go attack with uh wolf the monsters and since this uh was so short let's go ahead and just check out the deck and let's see what his build looks like all right guys so let's go ahead and check out his deck uh like i said it is a ocg deck so like i said there's cards like heavy storm but obviously heavy storm didn't even matter in this game so if you guys are interested in building this deck hey the deck profile is basically in the video right now for you guys because i know some of you guys might be interested in playing this because i thought this would be a great video because uh in the tcg we just got tuning reprinted and the thing is uh you know no one's really been making anything with tuning so like i said i think it was pretty good for you guys but anyways uh, he basically plays a bunch of level two monsters uh the gusto engine is basically used there to kind of recycle what's actually going on so a lot of stuff is once it's destroyed by battle, you can spot summon another monster. So he has this engine of keep on recycling monsters, so you can't really OTK him too quick. That's basically his protection in the deck. Um, cards that I should mention right now that are uh, banned in the TCG. I figured we should go over that real quick. So Heavy Storm, we're not allowed to use this uh, in the uh, TCG. Pot of Adverse is still uh, banned in the TCG. Heavy Storm will probably come back eventually one day. Uh, the OCG, I don't think they have three plug spreaders, but it doesn't really matter for this uh, deck. Now, he also has Card Destruction, which is a fantastic card to dump all the nimble cards. But um, also, Deep Sea Diva is another card I'm pretty sure in the uh, uh, TCG we wish that card was higher because, you know, this is just like a one card Degusto uh, Phoenix, which is basically 3k damage. He also is playing the Tricky, so you could perhaps bump up the Tricky if you really wanted to. This just allows you to put not only more damage on board because uh, you get 6,000 points of damage with uh, the two Degusto Phoenixes, but if you're able to throw out like the Tricky, um, Oh, also should mention Quick Draw Synchron is still level 5 monster, so that allows you to XYZ also for level 5, so you can maybe go for something like uh, number 61, Volcasaurus, Burnham, and then, you know, still go through out with the uh, OTK, so tricky, pretty good in that aspect. Also, the main idea is to be able to discard the Nimble Angler. Uh, now, in the OTG, they still have two Torrential Tributes, but that's kind of irrelevant for pulling off the OTK. That's to protect you from getting OTK, and there's also, like, a Reese Whirlwind of uh, Gusto, uh, but really what it comes down to, oh, this card's also banned, but uh, really what it comes down to is he's going to be playing a lot of floaters and there's also junk synchron to uh, make other things uh let's go ahead and check out his extra deck to see if there's anything uh you know unordinary i actually have not seen this myself but he's playing triple Degusto uh phoenix is over here pretty self-explanatory that's kind of what's needed to pull off for the otks he's got number 96 dark mist perhaps if he needs to make something to get over ophion that is still a pretty nasty card for this deck to deal with because I mean, as strong as Nagusto Phoenix is with that 3,000 attack, uh, well, he has 1,500 attack and he attacks twice, so uh, he's just not strong enough. He can't run over. But Dark Mist, he can go in no fear against a lot of stuff, and pretty much, uh, unless there's back row, then he would probably be pretty sad. There's also Shark Fortress um, that you can make in the deck, but I, what I really think is important to actually have in the extra deck 
And this deck, I would say, is relatively budget-friendly, minus maybe the Dagoose of Phoenix. I don't think this card's too expensive right now. But like I said, because tuning got a reprint, like, what has anyone done with tuning, right? But uh, anyways, number 61 Volcasaurus is probably really important. This card's really cheap anyways. And then this card, it, it's kind of important in the deck. I mean, you might be able to just deal a bunch of burn damage. Um, uh, with this card, and you might not even need uh, this card to attack anyways. But nonetheless, you can just be like smack a guy charger on top of that. More, more X was Z cards on top of cards. This card is also a banned card, but I mean, in this deck, uh, it's not really needed, but you know, it could still definitely pull it off. I mean, if you can make that card, it's pretty cool. I like the idea of having Librarian in the deck. You can do a lot of shenanigans in this deck uh, because it is also playing Quick Draw and the whole like junk engine. So, pretty cool nonetheless. And I think that this is a great deck to uh, try out, have some fun with it. I don't know if it's the most consistently like uh, OTK ish deck, but the thing is, there's a bunch of cards that allow you to discard. I mean, what it really comes down to is if you have the ability to discard two Nimble Anglers, you more than likely have the ability to summon one other monster because you don't really normal summon in this deck unless you're making something uh, like a junk card. So uh, I would say it's pretty easy actually to pull off the um, OTK, like I said, as long as you have the ability to get rid of two Nimble Anglers in your hand. So pretty interesting deck and I hope you guys have some fun with it, whether you want to troll around with it or maybe perhaps make a better build of this. Maybe you want to incorporate some frogs in here because I think that, uh, you know, Swap Frog is level two and so you could probably make something happen with Swap Frog as well because I know that D.Va is a, at uh, one in the TCG, but maybe it'll come back uh, later on in the future. But anyways, have some fun with this deck guys and thank you The Legend for sending me in this replay and sharing this deck with me. Uh, I love it when you guys uh, send uh, videos that are from OTG because I love to see what you guys are playing over there and I'll be doing, uh, you know, probably some videos relatively soon on what the meta actually looks like. A lot of you guys ask me, you know, what I need to uh, side deck against the meta this format and the thing is we haven't had a large tournament but for now be prepared against Fire Fist, be prepared prepared against Mermels, be prepared against uh, Bujins as well, and Spellbooks, uh, and also Girgia. That's also another deck. We'll talk more about that, but I'd say for the most part, be ready against Firefist because that deck, I would say, probably has the most amount of players uh, at the moment because it's relatively inexpensive, relatively easy to play. Um, but although, if you really want to take the deck uh, as far as it can go, uh, Wolf Bark is kind of an expensive card. But like I said, there are so many players playing the deck without Wolf Bark anyways. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Asian Eyes, signing out.